Are you a person with high levels of self-confidence and self-esteem? If you are, that's a fantastic virtue. Having notable self-confidence and self-esteem favors your appearance, career relationships, and decision-making capabilities. Your levels of self-confidence can positively or negatively affect your ways of living, social experiences, daily interactions, and emotions. People who lack confidence feel insecure about themselves, their actions, and their decisions. Self-doubt grows even stronger when someone continues to tell themselves the story that they can't do something, or their focus is constantly on what they are lacking, missing, or is deficient in their lives. The mind will believe whatever you persist in instructing it to believe in. It will eventually accept anything you repeat to yourself with frequency, whether it's said with an affirmation or a disagreeable conviction. Your subconscious will engrave your self-appointed statements as truths, and it will act and behave under your self-proclaimed guidelines, instructions, and blueprints. Napoleon Hill eloquently stated, whatever the mind of men can conceive and believe it can achieve. This can be a good thing when we want to fulfill our goals and objectives, but this can also affect us negatively when we don't apply this principle appropriately. That means whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. Quoting Henry Ford, self-confidence is not exclusively linked to any external influences. Rather, it is heavily rooted in how we feel and what we believe about ourselves. Are you new to our channel? Welcome. This is Trends for All Seasons. Provide us with your vital support and become a Patreon by clicking in the link below. While you're there, take a look at some of our recommendations and subscribe to our channel. When someone processes an appropriate level of self-esteem, the perception of what you believe you are capable of doing, accomplishing, and being is notably linked to your mindset. Lack of confidence can stem from many places. It is often impressed during childhood into our personalities. Our family members, the environment we grew up in, our past and present surroundings, the people we have direct and indirect contact with, can all influence the way we feel about ourselves. Our physical attributes, our talents, the sound of our voice, and hundreds of other factors can also contribute or diminish to our lack or abundance of self-confidence and self-esteem. One of the best strategies for building self-confidence is to pause and reflect before you act. Instead of reacting impulsively, think of your words and actions beforehand so as not to have any regrets once things have been said or they have been done. Build strong confidence in yourself by setting goals you know you can comfortably and timely achieve. Achieving goals along the way, whether they be large or small in size, will provide you with positive feelings, assisting you to ascend to higher levels of confidence and self-esteem. As you work on enhancing your self-confidence, have a clear vision of your life's goals. If you haven't yet written them down, chances are you don't know in which direction your life is heading. This is because you're traveling life without any roadmaps or navigational guidelines. And this is something you need to work on right away. Most people have trouble feeling confident about their present and future self whenever they don't have a predetermined direction or purpose. When you start working on your goals and you have an understanding of your life's purpose, you are incidentally also working on your self-confidence and self-esteem. They do go hand in hand. Don't let time pass you by without becoming more of who you are today. Procrastinating will greatly prevent you from engaging, maintaining, and completing important tasks. Procrastinating can often lead to a lack of accomplishments that may translate into a lack of self-development, initiative, and self-confidence. Therefore, procrastinating is something to overcome quickly whenever we suffer from this one bad habit. 
No one likes to listen to or follow anyone who appears unsure, indecisive, or uncertain of themselves and their actions. Lack of confidence can seriously prevent you from taking the necessary risks to attain those things you desire most in life. Confident people believe in themselves. They realize that to get anything in life, aside from having the will to do it and finding some help whenever it's needed, it's essential to have trust in themselves in order to get things done. Take pride of your small and incremental achievements. Appreciate yourself. As you behave and act with increased confidence, you will gradually accumulate and expand your accomplishments that will generate a more pleasant, meaningful, and rewarding life. To skillfully become more confident, your voice must project your inner confidence when you speak. Speak slowly, maintain proper eye contact with everyone you interact with, and be conscious of your body language and posture. By acting in a secure and self-confident manner, you reflect and display a well-balanced and firm individual that calls for respect, admiration, and recognition. An easy way to look like a winner is to claim the territory of your personal space. Stand and sit tall wherever you are, even at home. Keep your arms loose by your side, relax your shoulders down, and expand your chest up. Square your torso while standing firm and place your toes pointing towards the person you're engaged in a conversation with. Stay calm during stressful situations and be conscious of your actions and the choice of your words, as we have mentioned before. People who are confident about themselves are usually comfortable with rejection and momentary defeats. They are also comfortably aware of their weaknesses and shortcomings. Keep in mind that being comfortable, it does not mean ignoring, disregarding, or placing a disinterest in any of your imperfections. It means that you will work on acquiring or improving anything that needs your attention as soon as you are able to do so. And if nothing can be done to change these things, to humbly accept them as they are and let them be. If your confidence is put to the test whenever you find yourself in certain social environments, this is a very common feeling. Almost everyone has experienced social anxiety at one point or another. Practice confronting your fears and realize that being anxious about making a few mistakes in public isn't as bad as you believe it to be. So don't let these sort of occasions ruin your day and be confident with yourself. Mistakes happen, and they are a part of life and living. The idea is for you to learn from any setback or negative events in the same way you would learn from your successes and triumphs. Treat them both as stepping stones toward improving and becoming a better self. And try not to make the same mistakes again. Try not to place too much emphasis and focus upon the things you wished you had or too much weight on the parts of your body you could do without. Lacking appreciation and self-love only spawns negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions, commonly associated with an insecure personality. In its place, work daily on loving yourself more and more and minimize your self-doubts by employing some of the suggestions we've mentioned above. Confidence is much easier to develop than some of us may be predisposed to believe. Once you make the decision to trust yourself, you will then greatly empower your subconscious to be more self-assured. And any lack of confidence you may now possess within, it will begin to subside and fade away. In its place, an abundance of positive results will begin to bloom. And these changes will become evident in your daily living and interactions. Changes may be slow at first, but they will quickly accumulate and gather momentum. By continuously accomplishing your goals, you will transcend your past self into a world where your behavior, your habits, your thoughts, and your feelings and emotions will finally unify with the confident and remarkable person that has always lived and resided inside of you. 
Thank you for watching our video. Tell us which part you enjoyed the most and share it with our community in the section below. Check out our other videos regarding procrastination and how to build a reputation that lasts that complement this message. Subscribe and ring the bell to our channel and we will see you back again on our next video. Cheers!